Today, we're ranking every Overwatch 2 character by how fun they are to play. Let's go. Anna first. Anna is A tier for me. Um, maybe she's usually S tier, but right now, she is super hard to play. I mean, any support's hard to play, but feels like you get extra punished right now on Anna, so I'm gonna put her at about an A. She's still really fun to play. Ash. I think Ash is a B tier. She's not super fun in any regards. I guess her dynamite can be really fun if you're just hitting five man dynamites over and over. But she doesn't do anything exceptionally fun, but she's still fun. Baptiste. I'm gonna put Baptiste at B as well. Also, nothing exceptionally fun. There's high damage and super high healing potential. Um, but on average, I don't find myself having a ton of fun on Baptiste. Bastion, on any given game, he can be an S or a D tier. But I'm going to stick him in the C tier because it kind of just feels like you get shot all the time. For a good reason, because you can pump out a ton of damage, which is the only reason he's not D tier. But... Yes, you can do a ton of damage, but you will always be shot at 24-7. Brigida. Honestly, that's a D tier right now. There is nothing fun about Brigida. I don't know why anybody would play her right now. Not a good choice. D tier. Cassidy. Um, I'm going to put him at a B tier. His sticky grenade isn't exactly fun, but he does have a revolver and he's a cowboy. And you can roll around, and he says it's high noon, so he's a B, just off those facts. Doomfist. <clears throat> I'm going to put Doomfist at A, actually. I think he's really fun right now, as well as being really strong, as I'm sure you've all noticed in your games. You're probably getting punched all around, and it seems like every Doomfist is just having fun all the time, if they're not absolute rage monsters, which they usually are. Next, D.Va. I think D.Va's going to be my first S tier. D.Va's always an S tier fun hero. She's one of the easiest characters to just pick up and provide value without really trying. Um, she just has a fun kit. You can fly. You can eat anything that's coming towards you for about five seconds. You have rockets and you shred people. S tier. <clears throat> Echo. I'm going to put her a B tier just for the fact that she's really hard and you have to really focus in to hit your sticky grenades and your projectile shots. She's not exactly easy and I mean it is rewarding to hit the sticky grenade beam combo. Other than that, nothing super fun on Echo, but I, I definitely have fun on her sometimes. Genji's an A tier. I know a lot of people. He's definitely an S tier, but for me... Just because of his ult, he's down to an A. His ult can be super powerful, don't get me wrong. But tell me, 89% of the time, do you get slept, stunned, anti'd, everything to cancel your ult? I do every time. Either a hog ult, it's always something. So for that, he's down to an A tier. Ball. I think Ball is also A tier. I mean, have you ever seen a ball player get mad? Have you ever even seen a ball player? I haven't. I've never seen my ball teammates. Um, but yeah, if you've played much ball, you know that you can pretty much just do your own thing, get kills. I mean, it's a blast, but you might not be doing much. Let's be honest. Hanzo, it's between A and B, but I think I'm going to put him in B just because, I mean, he is cool. He has a bow, which is, has cool mechanics and is fun to shoot. Um, other than that, I'm actually not a huge fan of storm arrows. I kind of wish he had another ability, not that I have an idea for what it should be, but honestly, I'm not a fan of Storm Arrows, and wouldn't mind that being changed. Sojourn, I think she's B tier too, I mean, she's still mad broken, but she's still not super duper fun, um, if they have a tank who's just dominating you, and you don't hit your shots, it's really not fun. But if you do hit your railgun shots, I'm sure it's a lot of fun. Be nice to feel that feeling someday. Junker Queen. Easy, easy S tier for me. She's probably one of the most fun characters in the game. That's why it's such a shame that she's not more powerful than she is. And Blizzard might have even nerfed her in this last patch, if I'm being honest. But whatever, it's fine. At least she's fun to play. 
just might not do too great stats wise. Junkrat. That's an A tier for me. I personally love playing Junkrat. Um, he's not an S tier because you can easily get countered and that's insta no fun. If there's a Pharah and Echo flying above you, that's an insta no fun game. But if you don't get countered, you can have a ton of fun on Junkrat. You can just spam corners and get kills. Um, yeah, Junkrat A tier. Kiriko, I think she's also A tier. There's nothing more satisfying in healing right now than hitting a fat Suzu to save your whole team or hitting a fat Kitsune rush or hitting a bunch of kunais in a row. I don't know. It's just really fun and Kiriko is really good. So that probably helps. Lucio S tier. Lucio might be the most. I know I said this about Junker Queen, but I think Lucio probably is the most fun character in the game to me. The wall ride mechanic is awesome. It has so much potential. Um, you can always be going faster if you're playing Lucio, which is just a cool thing. Um, yeah, S tier. one of The most fun healer to me by far. May right now, probably a C tier. Honestly, the most fun part of playing May was freezing people. Even though it is annoying to play against, that was the most fun part was freezing people. And then shooting them in the head with an icicle. And now that you can't do that, I don't know. There's just nothing that really brings that dopamine rush like the freeze did. So May just not as fun for me anymore. Mercy, it's a B tier for me. A lot of people argue that. I don't find it super fun. I find it super boring. But it is kind of fun to not have to shoot at all, really. I mean, except for certain situations. It is a nice change of pace, so I'll put it in B. <clears throat> now Moira is an A tier your teammates might hate you but I guarantee you're having fun doing your 8,000 damage and 4,000 healing which you shouldn't be by the way if you don't do at least 6k 6k a game with Moira you're playing her wrong <clears throat> next Orisa. I think Orisa's is a B tier a lot of people would say she's one of the most fun characters in the game I still don't think she is in Overwatch 1, everyone would have told you she was the most boring character in the game, and I don't think she's definitely not the most boring character in the game, but she's she's fine. She's a B tier. Farah, she's another B tier right now. It feels like everyone's playing Hit Scan or Roadhog or Ramatra, just a lot of things that can shoot you. Um, even Kiriko, someone who can just destroy you for no good reason. Just feels like you get shot a lot as Farah, so B. Ramatra. I'm going to put him at A. I think he's, even though he's not super duper strong, I think he's really fun right now. And um, maybe he'll get a little bit of tuning to even make him more fun. He could be S tier, but when you're in his nemesis form, it feels like you're smacking people up, even though you're getting lit up. Not, that's why he's not an S tier, because when you're in nemesis form, it feels like all five people are shooting you and you just insta die. Reaper. Reaper's a B tier. I mean, he has two shotguns that he can shoot automatically. Um, if you aren't good at flanking, if you're just walking straight at people, you ain't gonna have no fun. So if you can figure out those flanks, you can have fun on Reaper. But I never find myself just like, whoa, I need to play Reaper more often. Reinhardt. I think Ryan's an A tier. Um just for the potential you have to get your ult in like five seconds and do a thousand damage with one swing. Not a thousand, probably more like 600, 700 with one swing if you hit everyone. I don't know. It just, the potential of Ryan is always fun to me and shatters are always fun. Roadhog, another A tier. The hog and kill, the hog, the hook and kill combo honestly still one of my favorite things in the game to do yes it's horrible to go against but this isn't about going against the characters this is about playing them and don't tell me you've never not had fun on roadhog at least once a game you've had fun on roadhog no matter how bad your team's doing you got a fat hook and kill that's just the way it goes sigma i think sigma's a b tier sigma is fun um kind of getting dominated by roadhog right now not dominated but it's just if you're not playing roadhog or doomfist right now kind of feels like you're in hell sigma's right along in that but sigma's still fun you can still hit the rock and shot combo 
on 200 health characters. So B tier. Soldier. Another B tier character. He's just a Call of Duty simulator in Overwatch. Um, he was just a character added so people could feel more at home in a shooter. But he is still fun. His Helix Rocket's fun. His ult is literally aimbot. How much do you get to do that in a game? Um, but other than that, he doesn't do anything exceptionally well, and there's nothing that's a huge dopamine rush with Soldier. Sombra. I'm going to put Sombra in C tier. She is not very fun right now, in my opinion, um, since the nerfs to her. I don't I don't really enjoy doing 1200 damage throughout a game even if we win. It just doesn't suit me. I don't like being invisible 60% of the time not doing anything. I don't know. Sombra's just not for me maybe. Symmetra. Usually Symmetra is like an A tier for me, but right now it just feels like she's so far down on the totem pole that she's just not playable. And you pretty much can't have fun on her right now. It feels like with a lot of people playing Winston, a lot of people playing Doomfist, it just feels like you don't do a whole lot. Torbjorn. I think that's an A tier. Just putting out a thing that can do the work for you, and all you have to do is sit in the back and fire some shots here and there, and you'll do your part. I don't know. It's fun to me. Uh, the hammer, if you can get some trolls with that, that's obviously one of the most fun things in the game. But yeah, Torb's A for me. Tracer. I'm going to I'm gonna put Tracer in A as well. She's one of the most unique FPS characters in any game, in my opinion. There's nothing else like her. I think it's really cool, even though we all hate to go against Tracer, and she's pretty hard to play as. She's still one of the most fun characters. Widow. B tier. I mean, it's just a sniper. Nothing crazy. I mean, I guess it's super fun if you're hitting all your shots, but realistically you're not. So you're not just having tons of fun on Widow all the time, I would assume. Unless you're a god, then more power to you. Winston. B. Um... You don't really do much. You just jump on people, shock them, punch them, put down a shield, jump out, do it over again. That's Winston. But in the middle there, it's kind of fun when you get to use your primal um, to knock people off the map. Maybe it's rare. It's rare you even get a kill with it. It's usually just to make space. But Winston's B tier. Zarya. I think Zarya is still A tier. She might have been S tier early on in Overwatch 2, but right now she's A tier. You can still do crazy amounts of damage with Zarya. Your bubble uptime is down. That doesn't affect her too horribly. Zarya is still strong right now. You can still shred every character in the game. And if you're a good Zarya, you will climb. And that's fun. <laughs> Zenyatta. I'm going to put him at B tier. He is His orbs are one of the most fun healing kill abilities. Um, Discord Orb is a huge ability that can lead to some fun. But the flip side is you literally can die in the snap of a finger if a tracer shows up or literally any character. You are the most killable character in the game. But your ult's pretty good. And that'll do it. That is my Overwatch 2 characters tier list for how fun they are. Um, if you disagree, leave it in the comments or just dislike. That's usually what people do. Just do whatever suits you. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.